JD Cap 26 here, just doing tips and fears and hobbies, and I hope you guys are doing good today. We got the alien back here from War of the Worlds. Anyway, playing around with him. You got a little color chart here you can go by to paint this guy. And uh, you got some colors here. This is for the base, some blue for its veining. This is going to be the body color. Uh, teddy bear, uh, part of the base, part of the base. So uh, we're going to turn on the uh, compressor and pump that up to do some so paint. I'm pour some uh, of this color into the airbrush, hopefully. And yeah, see if we can get it sprayed out. And we're going to start painting the model. It's a very hard model to paint and airbrush because of all the nooks and crannies. Uh, so I'm to try to get Compressor went on, so we're just taking the cover off of this this cap, so we can have nice fluid paint. It doesn't build up on that cap of the airbrush. So we're going in there and then really trying to cover the model as best we can. A lot of pieces to cover. I'll try to list the uh, um, the paints in the description. Okay, so we uh, we got a nice coat on there of the base color, and we're gonna highlight with a little royal blue. Just highlight a little bit. Okay, we're not gonna use much. And uh, we're gonna actually try to stay away from the model. Okay, a distance. Just giving it a mist, okay? We give it a greenish blue look, okay? Like an alien skin. Mm. We have to uh, clean the brush out now. So now we're doing the teddy bear. And we gotta take this cap off.
got some tan here and uh, we sprayed it a dark brown. I take some tan on the brush. This is a zero brush I'm using. And we're gonna just put some tan on his nose. Like this. Okay. And then we're gonna do his hands down here. Because usually there's that spot down here. Do that. Some tan there. Dip the brush. Like that. So it looks like a teddy bear. That's what it is. It's a teddy bear. I don't know why there's a teddy bear in this this model. And yeah, probably was in the movie. So we got that. I'm gonna put this to the side, this tan. And uh, we forgot his eyes. Hopefully enough. Put his eyes right there. One there. And let's see, his other eye is right there. If we have enough paint there to put his eye on. Okay. And right there on his nose. Spread it around. And there's little lines all over here. So what we have to do is we've got to take a bigger brush. And this is a one eighth. And what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush because there's all like uh, veining on the teddy bear like it was attacked by the alien so what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up and we're just going to dry brush the veining here and there and everywhere it's not precise i mean not, you can't go in there and say i'm going to do this with a real small brush you just got to like dry brush it you know where the veining is like that. So it looks like that. Okay. Put that in the water. Let that dry out. I think I have to do his chin a little bit more. So let's take another brush here. And get the tan out again. And just a little down here. Right there. Okay. I don't know what the color of the cup is. Let's, let's see what the color of the cup is. Yeah, the cup. They don't even list the cup. I don't know what the cup's for at all. What, for the alien to pee in? <laughs> Just a joke. I don't know. There's a cup here. And uh, it's got to be painted. I think we'll paint it a tan. It's supposed to be go somewhere on the uh, base itself. So I'll get the, the tan going here. Move the teddy bear away. And I'll paint the cup tan. And it's got some veining on it too. So we'll try to avoid the veining. Okay, get the idea. So we're gonna bring the alien back in and we got a fine brush here. And we gotta do his eyes. So we're gonna Put his eyes in. Sorry. If you can see this. Okay. Be 
get it on the other part, just go over it with the body color again. Okay. So like that. Let's get some white there. And that goes in there. And we get a nice fine brush. Where's my fine brush that I always use? It's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. Hmm. Hope I didn't lose it, guys. There's a good one. Get some black. And you just want to go in the black. Like that. Like that. Like that. See? Okay, now I'm going to cover up that mistake right there. So he kind of looks freaky, doesn't he? We got to do his teeth. We got to do his teeth, guys. Now we're doing the base. And the base is a dark gray. I'm trying to stay away from the veining, but that's nearly impossible. So that's going to have to be dry brush. Start from the top. Work your way down. Remember to uh, do the edge right here. Now we're going in with some white and we're doing the lettering here. So like this, okay. And you probably have to do two coats on the lettering. The top lettering is red and we'll do use a different brush for that. So like that, and get some more white, do the L. I know I'm going different letters at a time here, just to give you an idea. How it's got to be. Okay, like that. Now we're going to do the red. And we just pulled the red open here. And then I do the red. You can see that. Just take your time. The little nicks in there, if you just go around, it looks like bullet holes or something like that. And the letter and uh, dip your brush, more paint. Try not to flood it on. You don't want to do that because then it, then it could run. You know, you got to go over it, you know. So, go like that. It's a pretty big size brush I'm using. It's a number two. Number two is good for this, for this size letter. Okay. So I'll finish that up. Okay, it is all done. I just have to do a coating of a, a clear coat on them to keep them sealed because it's acrylic paint. And uh, 
There's this face in the top view. There's the paints I used right there. Most of the colors, except red. Red is also included in that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you rate and subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Tell your friends about it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.